السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Today on the Android device using DD command. First of all, you have you must have a rooted phone to be able to access the main block of the of your device. The device before using the device, you have to make sure it's rooted and. Also, at the same time, you have to make sure that it's uh, the developer uh, debugging mode is enabled. USB debugging mode is enabled in order to access it through your computer. So first, uh, you need to connect your device. After uh, enabling the developer mode and uh, rooting it, you need uh, to connect your device through the USB data cable to your computer. Now, I'll just plug it in and. Uh, I'm waiting for my device to boot up. So, uh, mostly this time we'll be working with uh, the terminal software. I'll run it as an administrator to just to make sure that I have full access to the system. This one, I'll be using it for my PC. And I will order another one just to access the shell of my device. Also, one more thing that you have to make sure that you did already install the Android Debugger uh, ADB bundle, uh, since that will allow us to access the shell of the Android device. And uh, also, you must make sure that if you are having, a, like uh, in my case, a Samsung S3 device, you must install its drivers. How to get its drivers? Just search on the internet for the software that is like for Samsung. It's KIES, KIES, K I E S software. If you find that software, then you can download it. And uh, after downloading the software, by default, it will download the drivers for the device. Okay. So the one on the right, this uh, terminal on the right, I'll be using it to access the shell order. Phone. The phone is rooted, connected to my PC, and the developer debugging mode, USB debugging mode, is enabled. If you don't know, just search for that on the internet, and they will guide you how to do this. So, uh, to see the connected devices, just I will type. ADB devices. This command, uh, it will show you how. It will show you what the devices that are connected to your computer. Now it's checking uh, for me, so it's showing that I have one device uh, which is uh, 4DF7E04. On the right side of the name of the device or the serial number of the device, you will see that written device. If it's not like that, then maybe you have a problem with the uh, drivers that are installed on your uh, mobile phone. So to access this device, just I will do the following. Okay, so ADB minus S, then I will type what's written here. After that, then I'll select what I want to do. Uh, I want to access the device as a root. So I have to, just I need to write type root after uh, selecting its name. Now it's just starting the ADBD as a root. Okay, after that, just I'll uh, click the up arrow to retrieve what I've wrote earlier. Then instead of root, just I'll type shell. Now I'm accessing the device, my device as a root user. Uh, this is the shell of the device, so anything now I'm writing here will be affecting my uh, Samsung S3 device. Now I'm inside my Samsung device. As you can see in the top, that it's showing that ADB minus S the device then shell. Now what we need to do, we need to transfer the data using DD command and uh, this DD command will transfer it using the netcat. For netcat you need to install also a netcat in your uh, computer. If you have Windows, uh, then you have to install uh, nmap. By the nmap you will get a package of uh, a DD command and uh, the nmap. For uh, Linux and uh, Mac operating systems you will find them I guess uh, just nc for netcat. Uh, but for Windows, it's in cat. Okay, so uh, what I will be doing first, uh, I'll go to my PC and I'll type the following just to open, uh, just to open another port ADB.
So uh, now this port will be used later on for uh, transferring the image, the DD image from my uh, Android device to my computer. Okay, just remember the ports uh, for uh, four eights. It's uh, 888. Uh, so now, uh, where is the image uh, located in my device? You must have root access. If you don't have root access, then you will not be able to access this folder and it will give you uh, an error of access denied. So if you can access this uh, directly, then you can make sure that you are already rooted your that you have already rooted your device. So uh, to open the directory, it's uh, then no. Okay, so this is the directory where the head blocks of your device are st uh, stored. LS command will show us all the uh, what's inside that folder? You can see that we have MMC block uh, 0, P10, 11, 12. So we have them from, uh, you can see that they're going all the way from 0. Oh, okay, so this is the main one. If you copy this one, if you make a, if you take an image of MMC block 0, you'll be already taking it for all these stuffs. Okay, so uh, I guess for for just for us just to make sure that we take an image of everything, we will take it for this MMC block zero and MMC block one. So we will take two images. These uh, MMC block zero, P10, P11, P12, and all this stuff will be copied already if you just copy this MMC block zero because these are just parts of this one. So uh, to copy. Uh, just to copy it, we have already uh, opened the port uh, quad uh, 8 in my uh, PC. Just I need to use the DD command now. And in the in the mobile phone, we have something called BusyBox. Okay, no need to worry about it that much. But it's uh, just it, gave, it just gave us the main commands of Linux so that we can use it like DD command, uh, errors and all this stuff. So to the basic DD command is as follows. So as you can see that I'm copying uh, from the source uh, forward slash dev forward slash block mmc block zero which is this one. I'm taking all this and I'm taking it through the uh, netcat command through the network through the port uh, quad eight. Then I will press just enter. Okay, it's giving me an error. Uh, let me see what is the error. Alright, busy box. Uh, strange. Oh, minus L. Uh, I guess from this. There is an extra space. Obviously, yes. Now it's okay. You can see now it's waiting. From here, just I'll start copying from the uh, through the USB cable. Okay. Okay, uh, before copying, I have to select the folder because if I just use the DD command and this, it will copy it to the uh, system32. So I will navigate to C drive first. Now I'm C drive, I will create a new folder. Uh, So the new folder is called uh, DD image uh, underscore S3. Uh, I will be copying the files uh, to it. Uh, to navigate to that folder, just I will type uh, CD DD image. So as you can see, this is the we are inside the, the directory and uh, it's uh, completely empty. Now I will copy the uh, image to it. Now I'll put the name of the image. So let me... So, uh, okay, so uh, NC, NC is used actually for uh, Linux, so for uh, Windows just you need to type NCAT. Okay, so as you can see now, 
as you can see the files are copied from here to here it will take some time to copy it now it's copying the file uh, what's happening there something wrong the guys in back and uh, you know I realized that I was doing a really 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 stupid mistake uh, and I was writing the loopback address uh, by mistake if I was uh, writing this is the problem with it if I was writing 172 instead of 127 so just I'll do it again this is the busy box again I opened the, I started uh, the netcat listening to port uh, 888 then from here just netcat 127001 is 3 block 1 and give it an enter so I was making a mistake before uh, instead of writing uh, 127 I was driving uh, 172 which is a big 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 mistake which no one can do but however that's what happened to me so let's see this is the file was created it's ticket size so its size is increasing see it's increasing which means the the copying is going once the copying is done, you will see a message in the, in the command prompt uh, giving you an information that the copying was done. So that's it for today, and I guess now I need to fix back the mess that I made in my firewall and in my old connections. So that's it, and if you need any anything about it, just uh, let me know and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you guys.